Yes, yes, people, welcome to the MU stand. This is your preview for Nottingham Forest versus Manchester United. First leg Carabao Cup semi final. Look, I mean, probably the only trophy we could win this season. I mean, we have to go strong. I think we have to pick a strong team. We'll take a look at the team news for both teams, the starting 11 and the score prediction. But before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Let's just go straight into it. So Eric Ten Hag has ruled out three players uh, for this semifinal first leg. Diego Dallowed, Jaden Sancho, and Anthony Martial will be missed for this game. They will not be participating in this game. Sancho has returned to training, but he's not yet available as he continues to build his fitness. Uh, Dallowed was injured against Charlton in the previous round in this competition uh, while Martial has been absent uh, since that uh, halftime substitution against Man City. Um, the players, basically the players were not available against Arsenal. Uh, like I mentioned, Dallot, Martial and Sancho are not going to be available. Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that. Uh, in terms of uh, team news for uh, Nottingham Forest, Dean Henderson, uh, Omar Richards, Chris Wood, and Taiwo and Woni are the uh, among the absentees for the home side. Uh, but Ryan Yates uh, could be available. Henderson obviously is the loney from United. He would not have been allowed to play anyways, but he's actually picked up an injury uh, in the previous game. Okay, so. Let's quickly take a look at the lineups. Uh, that so this is the lineup that has um, that has played against Arsenal. I'm just gonna make a few changes in this lineup. I think this is a strong lineup that has played against Arsenal. Uh, I wanted to start off by talking about Harry Maguire. I think this game could be the game Harry Maguire can come in um, in defense. Obviously, David De Gea will stay in goal, but the back four, I think, will stay the same. I'm just going to make a change on Harry Maguire. I mean, uh, on Varane and bring in Harry Maguire. I think if he's going to play a game for United, this could be the game that he can participate in. I think uh, Varane has played a lot of minutes. Uh, he's, he's played a lot of games. I think this is the time to give him some rest. Martinez, he came late from the World Cup. Uh, he didn't have much game to play, I think, uh, after the World Cup. So this could be the game that he, he could stay as a starting 11. Uh, Luke Shaw, probably another one I want to rest uh, for this match and put Malasia in. Bear in mind, this is this is ninth. This is this is a knockout game, but it's, it's the first leg. So we have to play a second leg. So if anything goes wrong in this first match, we still have an opportunity uh, to turn it around in the second leg at home. So I think it is a match that you can actually take risk in terms of uh, picking up the lineups. So this is going to be the back four. Uh, David De Gea and goal, Malasia on the left, Martinez. Maguire comes back in and Juan Basaka will stay there because Dalot, like I mentioned earlier, is not fit. So let's quickly move to the uh, the middle of the park. So Eriksen and Scott McTominay started against Arsenal. I reckon both should be subbed out for this matchup. We know, we know Scott McTominay is not good enough. And we've seen it against Arsenal as well. He is not up to the task. He is a useful squad player, but I don't think he, he could start many games, especially important games for uh, Man United. And I'll I'll definitely bring back Casemiro in in the middle of the park. We missed him against Arsenal, and this is an away game at Nottingham Forest, so it's not gonna be an easy matchup. So I think we have to go with uh, Casemiro to just protect that back four, and I'll play Fred next to him. Fred uh, did come on against Arsenal late in the game, but this could be the game he could start. The link up between these two Brazilians, I think, could definitely work. And also, I want to give a rest to uh, Eriksen. So we need to be careful with Eriksen and Varane. And these players that, that that has played a lot of minutes and they 
they are injured, uh, injury prone. So we really got to be careful with uh, these players. Anthony. So Anthony will stay up top. We'll stay up top on that uh, right hand side. Look, I mean, Anthony has been getting a lot of stick lately. He's been performing. His performance has has dropped significantly uh, after the World Cup. Uh, this is a game that he could deliver. This is the game that he could show us what he can do. I want to see him do similar things that Mars does for Manchester City. I mean, taking on players, cutting outside, cutting inside, go on the outside sometimes, be unpredictable. Anthony has just been so predictable this season. I mean, he takes the ball. He's always looking to cut inside and shoot. This is what he does. I mean, 90% of the time, Anthony gets the ball. That's what he does. And I want to see him actually be more unpredictable, like I said. Show on the outside, probably cut inside and cross. Or shoot on your right. I mean, he's way one-footed player. I mean, I don't think he has a right leg because he never used it. I mean, he never used it. So... That needs to change. You see, if he wants to grow his game, I think that needs to change. Uh, Bruno Fernandez, for me, should stay uh, as a number 10. For this game, we, we, we're going to need his creation. We're going to need uh, his supplies for the strikers we have. Uh, Marcus Rashford did start the game on the left-hand side, but what I would, well, what, what I would like to see is... Take off Wighorst and put Martial as a striker and bring in Garnacho on the left. And I'll explain why. I mean, Wighorst, Wighorst has been, I don't know what you guys think, but you might disagree. If you disagree, by the way, of any of these lineups, leave a comment down below. But I think Wighorst has been, has been bad. I'm better. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, we we have to give him time to adapt to the team, but I don't think he offered us anything against Crystal Palace and against Arsenal. I think he was the worst player in these two games. Hence, we drop points in these two matches. He was useless. I mean, the only thing Weghorst is 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 doing right is just pressing. And as a striker, I mean, that's not the only thing you need from a striker. I mean, you need to put the ball in the back of the net. You need to link up play. You need to create chances for other forwards. I mean, Wickhorst is just no wonder he was a Burnley player. I mean, I don't want to disrespect the guy. He just came in and he, he had two games. But this is just my honest opinion. We need some creativity uh, from wide positions. And we need strikers up front that could score goals. Uh, so I've gone with Garnacho on the left. Garnacho will be on the left. He can create a lot of chances. He can take on players. So I'll have him as a left uh, on the uh, left attacker position. And that means uh, the man of form, Rashford, will be moved to the center forward position. Uh, of course, Rashford, this is not his main position. This is not his preferred position. He would like to play on the left-hand side, but guess what? We don't have a striker. Yeah, we do have Wickhorse, but I don't want to see that guy start in this match. He could come in as a sub. He he is a good plan B to have. I don't think Wickhorse is the plan A for United. If that is the case, if Ten Hag is thinking that Wickhorse is the plan A for this team, then we are in big, big trouble because he doesn't even start for the Netherlands. I mean, he came on as a sub last 10 minutes against Argentina. He is that kind of player that comes in late in the game. You just put the ball, uh, put balls in, uh, put crosses in, into the box, and he can make something happen. He's big. He's physical. That's what he can offer us. I mean, he can offer us the plan B, but the, not the plan A. He should never be the plan A for the team. Uh, and yeah, so... Ganacho on the left, Rashford up front. I think this team is good enough. I think this team can can definitely uh, get a result against uh, Nottingham Forest. Um, before I give you my prediction, do let me know what you think is going to happen in this match. Leave a comment and put your predictions in and see if we actually have the same uh, prediction. 
But before I get into my prediction, let me just quickly show you guys the, uh, the team's form. So team's form, Nottingham Forest coming into this game, have drawn one, lost one, and won three. That is a similar uh, stat to United. We've lost one, drawn one, won three. So it's pretty much the same. Head-to-head, uh, -head, uh, before the head-to-head, -to -head, top scores for these two teams in the, EP, uh, uh, in the Carabao Cup. Obviously, we got to watch out for Lingard. So Lingard could be the guy that could just punish us. He has two goals, two assists in the uh, Carabao Cup, two games played. Rashford, of course, has scored four. Uh, so these two team, I mean, these two players are the, the key players for this matchup. Head-to-head. Um, -head. So we've December 27th, we played them at home. We beat them 3-0. So from my prediction, from my prediction, I think... I think we, we're going to win. Nottingham Forest, I think we're going to win this game 2-1. I'm going to go for 2-1. Uh, Nottingham Forest are slowly but surely uh, proving to be that they are taken seriously this season. Uh, there are not many teams that can actually uh, go to Nottingham Forest and be in their own ground. So it is going to be dangerous. Uh, the hosts also have an extra rest coming into this game. They haven't played a lot of games. So we played midweek, two tough games, Crystal Palace are, and Arsenal. So I don't know how physically, how good we are coming into this matchup, uh, fitness wise, energy wise, hopefully it's up there. But if we go with the strong starting 11, I think we're gonna just edge it. I think it's not gonna be a smash, but I think we're gonna win two one. But yeah, that is my prediction, guys. Do let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I am out. Peace.